ChatGPT's new Canvas mode is out, and I've had quite a few days now to play with it. So I'm going to quickly tell you how it compares to Claude Artifacts, how I think this is more about augmented intelligence than artificial intelligence, and quickly give you the five things that you need to know about this new ChatGPT Canvas mode. All right, let's do it super quick. And let me tell you what this is. So my name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. So I already did a full like 50 minute deep dive on this topic. So here is a very quick one. So if you need to know a little bit more, make sure you go check that episode out. It's youreverydayai.com. All right, let's just jump straight into it. So Canvas is a new mode released by OpenAI. Uh, they say it is to help in writing better content, writing better code, and using AI more, of, uh, more as a partner. So let me just uh, read this part from OpenAI. So they said, we're introducing Canvas, a new interface for working with ChatGPT on writing and coding projects that go beyond simple chat. Canvas opens in a separate window, allowing you and ChatGPT to collaborate on a project. This early beta introduces a new way of working together, not just through conversation, but by creating and refining ideas side by side. All right, so let's just quickly talk about the five things that you need to know, and I might actually have a bonus tip there at the end. So. Here we go. I'm going to go through them all and then dive into them one by one. So number one, it's available right now to all ChatGPT Plus users. OpenAI said that once this gets out of beta, it will be available for free users. So if you're a free ChatGPT user, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't hold my breath. It could be many months or even longer until this comes out to free users or who knows, maybe in a week or two, but I wouldn't hold your breath on that. Uh, second thing, Canvas is its own mode. More on that in a second, but if you want to use it, you have to make sure when you start a new chat inside of ChatGPT, to use that mode. The third thing you need to know, unlike OpenAI 01, the new 01 preview, 01 mini model, and the new advanced voice mode, this new feature works with all the other toys. The 01 model does not work with anything else. Advanced voice mode does not work with, you know, as an example, uploading files, browse with Bing, etc. The new uh, Canvas mode does. It works nicely, plays nicely with all the other ChatGPT modes. Thing to know, number four, this is not a carbon copy of Anthropic Claude's artifacts. Very different, actually. And then number five, this is an inline editor. I think it puts ChatGPT in a league of its own, and I obviously think it's going to kill a lot of these GPT wrappers that are still around, and this was kind of their moat. The ability to edit a document with ChatGPT in the body of the document that's huge. And that was one of, I think, the biggest advantages of some of these yeah, kind of useful, but essentially just AI writing tools that are just GPT wrappers. All right, let's quickly look at this. So again, uh, number one and two. So on the left, I have a ChatGPT Plus account. On the right, I have a free account. You'll see it is not available uh, on the free account. It's only available in the paid account. And you need to make sure when you start, you need to select the GPT-40 with Canvas mode. Um, right now, I don't know any reason you would want to use the normal 4.0 mode. Uh, I think you should probably, in most cases, always use the Canvas. Even if you don't think you'll need it, I think it's better to just start there in case you do need it. So number three, it works with all these other tools. Like I said, advanced voice mode does not. The new 01 preview, 01 mini does not work with all these other tools. So, you know, you can still use, as an example, browse with Bing, Dolly, advanced data analysis when you are using the Canvas mode. Use that wisely. Use it to your advantage. All right. Four, this is not a carbon copy of Anthropic Claude's artifacts. Not even close. Uh, I, I think people are confusing, right? They just see these, oh, these two side by side, you know, hey, you chat with uh, the model on the left side and on the right side, it carries out tasks for you. Very different. So uh, artifacts, essentially, it renders code, right? So you can create, you know, uh, interactive dashboards. You can create websites that work. You can, uh, you know, run Python. You can't do any of those things in Canvas, but it's completely different. Uh, Canvas is a collaborative tool where you work line by line with the AI. You cannot do that in Claude Artifacts. Two very different things. And for all you people out there that think ChatGPT just copied Claude Artifacts, no, technically OpenAI was the first to bring out this side-by-side -side editor where you chat with an AI and it builds things for you. 
a year ago, November 2023, with the GPT Builder. So you can't say, oh, they just copied this feature. No, they've always had this kind of split screen, talk to an AI, and it does something for you in the other pane. And then last but not least, it is an inline editor. That is huge. So yes, after you launch uh, after you launch Canvas, and sometimes you need to call out and tell it to use Canvas even when you're in Canvas mode. But then from there, you can literally go into Canvas, you can start typing, even on your own, right? Maybe you take half of it, ChatGPT takes half of it, you start typing, you stop, then you ask ChatGPT to pick up where you left off. That is huge, and I think that is a big step into the future of how we will use uh, these large language models as more augmented intelligence and not just, hey, AI, go do something, and then wasting so much time iteratively prompting back and forth just to try to change or maybe improve a few small things. All right, and then last, make sure to save your uh, canvases. Sometimes if you leave and go back, they're gone. All right, that was it. I was trying to do this in five minutes. I did a full episode, 50 minutes. If this was helpful, go to youreverydayai.com and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.